Hey folks, we're at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show and we're at the New Camp booth. We're gonna take a look at the Barefoot. So this is a 2,150 pound trailer with a 215 pound tongue weight, which is to say definitely towable by a car. It's also very, very compact. So the frontal area and the aerodynamic design are gonna make it even easier to tow. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around the outside and then Mila's gonna do a walk around the inside. I'm gonna show you the storage on the green unit here just cause it's accessible. And you can see we've got two propane tanks and a spare tire in here, which is nice. I love how they've integrated it into the design. So, you know, you're very aerodynamic and very clean looking. These campers use a really retro kind of theme. So you've got the solid hubcaps, just like you would have back in, I guess, the 50s, probably. Fiberglass construction, highly unlikely to have any leaks. So do have a little window here. This is actually the bathroom window, though. So the bathroom is here at the back of the trailer. You can see is with all the new camps, you've got these grab handles to make it a little bit easier to maneuver it around. Being lightweight, it's going to be pretty easy to move. So this is your cassette toilet. And I know some people go, ooh, cassette toilet. So our first RVing experience was in New Zealand. And it was a, actually a great big Mercedes chassis Class C RV, but it had a cassette toilet. It's actually very convenient because you can dump them virtually anywhere. There's a toilet, if you're in a campground, pit toilets, you name it. Uh, you don't have to move your rig, you don't have to unset up camp, and, and you can just go and dump them. So I actually like cassette toilets. I wouldn't mind if our trailer had a cassette toilet. Here we've got our 30 amp connection, the output for the Aldi hot water heater and furnace. And I can't remember the brand name of these guys, but this is the uh, water setup here. And you can see that you've got the diagram. So whatever situation you're in, you just set the two little green and blue tabs to the correct area and you're good to go. And we've also got uh, the water connection and I guess that's the gravity fill. There's a water pump switch there too as well. So, and a tank flush. So nice big windows, you know, we love our windows. All right, so that's the outside. Let's take a look inside. Actually, before Lilla takes you inside, let's have a listen to Ben Matthews, one of the creators of the Barefoot Camper, as he speaks about the camper's design. One of the things we originally set on was that it was gonna be a one-piece fiberglass mold. So that, from the very start, was, was the challenge that we, we gave ourselves. And that really is to give us a completely waterproof body shell. There's no seams in it. There's no panels that are joined together. It is molded in, in one piece. Um, so it's really unique. Uh, it looks like an egg. The, the shape of it gives it its, its strength. So if you, if you imagine an egg, they're really, they're really hard. So we don't need a frame inside it. So it is a, a nice curved, uh, strong, waterproof fiberglass shell. And then we put a lot of attention to detail inside, making sure we used every inch of space. So we spent ages trying to work out how we can put stuff in this little corner or that corner. So when you step inside, you'll see that there's not a bit of space that's wasted. And we use lightweight wood inside to, to make sure the furniture's uh, lightweight to keep the weight down. Um, but there's, there's loads of air and space inside it, so they feel really, really big when you get inside, although it looks small from the outside. All right, let's go inside. Nice handle. Oh, nice hook right there. Okay, this is a cutie. Let's start right here. You have a nice deep closet where you storage the, uh, the table. And look, it has a hook so you can hang some uh, jackets. Right at the bottom, you have another one. You can put some shoes, flip-flops. This is all full of nooks and so little cubbies in here that's for your vino no <laughs> yes for our vino and the one thing i didn't show on this side there's also another another oh, spot wow. yeah another cube right there another little locker every little nook and cranny yeah it's adorable all right well come on in wow you know, I always thought that I would be a bit claustrophobic on one of these, um, in one of these, but uh, no, actually, you know, I love, I love the colors. They're bright, everything is bright. So right there, um, 
it gives you that sense of, of space. And all the windows, um, they have the awesome option of blind and just a shade combination, which is awesome. I love it. Look, cubbies everywhere, space and storage on both sides. So, so cool. Here, so you have what you can put uh, magazines. And right here, there is another one. Okay. Um, up here, you have your night lights, which you can move as you wish. USB ports on both sides, so you can charge your phone. So neat. Love the curtain, love this big window. So here it's where you would set up your table. Um, as you can see, like plenty of space. You can fit uh, two, four, five people, let's say. Um, and then all this becomes your bed. Another USB port, your regular household plug. On this side, you have a 12 volt and your regular household plug again. And we're in the kitchen. So you have space up, up top, storage up top for your uh, cups and plates. This is a two burner stove, a Dometic. Pretty good. Oh, here you go for the sink. Oh, nice size sink. Very nice. It's a little bit bigger than ours. Yeah. Oh, and cubbies, look at this cutie. See where you can put your spices. Now there's storage right here. Nice uh, for your cutlery. And same method of the clothes as ours. Now this is plenty of room for your pots and pans. Really nice. Remember guys, get those nesting ones. Makes a big difference. On this size, another big one. Can be used as a pantry. And now let's go see the washroom. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, there we go. So it closes all the way. <laughs> You're trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped. Nice. Okay. So I must say that even for my, for me, um, it is, it is tight. You know, you, you would take a shower only if you really needed to, but in terms of washroom, like space, that's, and to brush your teeth. I mean, this is a really nice setup. I am really impressed. There is also storage in the washroom. I'll open it and then you can see. Nice, very nice. All right, let's do the six footer test and see. I think we know how it's gonna go given that Lilo is just able to stand up in here. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're definitely sitting on the toilet to take a shower in here. But again- And still, yeah, no. The showers are not a big deal. Um, Going to the bathroom, it's fine. It's a little tight on the left side, um, but plenty of space on the right. But I'll tell you what, at three o'clock in the morning in a campground, I'll take this over having to put my shoes on and go outside any day of the week. So, and amazing, and you know, this is such a small camper and yet you have space to have people over for dinner in the dinette and you actually have a bathroom. You have a place to wash your hands in the bathroom, something ours doesn't have, nice little kitchenette. I think this is a really neat little camper. And in that 2000 pound range, I think you could sleep three people here. Like certainly a family of three with a small child would have no problem because that whole thing converts into bed. And so it makes a very large bed. So four, I think would be pushing it a little bit, but uh, three, I think would be doable. And I think the towability of this trailer is gonna be phenomenal because it's so small. Um, the frontal area, you know, the aerodynamics of it are going to be op pretty optimal. It's going to be easy to tow. And you can stand up? 
you can actually stand yeah, up. In the, in the middle here, I can stand up straight. Um, the, the roof does kind of curve. So say right here in the middle, I'm just, you know, my hair is touching. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, right here, I can stand. Again, I don't see this as being, even if, even if I didn't have a spot I could stand, but it is kind of cool. Hey, I could cook and I, I can actually stand up. Uh, so that's awesome. But again, keeping in mind that Hopefully you're not spending too much time standing around in your camper. Hopefully you're getting out there and enjoying the beautiful places that you're camping in. If you're thinking this trailer is too small, I want you to have a listen to Kathy Chamberlain, the creator of Barefoot, describe why its size makes sense. As you know, on this channel, small is good, and hopefully this will help to convince you. There are plenty of, we call them caravans in the UK, yeah, there are plenty of caravans like that, but they're usually a lot bigger and they're square. Um, and I like to go touring, I like to go to the coast, I like to go, you know, around Scotland or around the, um, the south coast of England, Wales, and they're on narrow roads and little windy roads and you want to be able to go off, off grid a bit and you want to be able to park up and, you know, go and enjoy some scenery without worrying about towing a great big thing behind you that you're not sure if you're going to get stuck with you know so I can handle this on my own I go with my kids I go with friends but it's really all about you know just being able to it's called barefoot deliberately get up and go barefoot you can just you know get off and go and have an adventure with it yeah at this point you are probably wondering about price so here it is 58 to 60 thousand dollars Canadian or 40 to 42 thousand dollars US based on dealer websites in February 2024 this is a premium price but you're getting premium design and materials, and you don't need a $70,000 pickup truck to tow it. If you love the design and can afford it, we say go for it. And if you'd like to see the full interview with Kathy and Ben, click here. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.